Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. All right. Let's actually go straight to Grandma's house. We'll explore the town later. Blasted, rusty old crate. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. <laughs> Look at it go. Uh, Grandma? Oh, it's you. Oh, my little honeybee. <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. Okay. Plant the potato seeds. Will do. You're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. Ah, the lovely, rusty old watering can. Let's get some water and water the seeds. There now, that should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, 
and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. Aww. All right, here I am, farming. <laughs> this place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. Okay. So we'll have to wait for the potatoes to grow, collect some mushrooms, and go meet the mayor. We all want to um, construct a compost bin pretty soon. So we'll see if we can collect six uh, branches. Let's see, there was a way to move those garden beds. But, um... I can't remember how at the moment. When, um... When I got this game, I did play it a little. Just to get to know it and uh, see if it would be something that I'd want to make a let's play of. So yeah, I've um, I'm uh, kind of somewhat familiar with the beginning of this game already. The first few days. And back then. I did figure out a way to move those garden beds. I'm sure we'll figure it out again as we play. Hey, I remember this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. There's a mushroom. And a thistle. And that's the mushrooms gathered. It's a collapsed mine shaft. <laughs> Looks like I can't get into it until it's fixed. Let's go back to Grandma and give her the mushrooms. Then after, we can go into town and Meet the mayor. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. No. Yeah, our grandma isn't, um, isn't exactly 
um, in, in very good condition at the moment. We'll learn more about that as the game and the story progresses. Let's go and see the mayor. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. All right. Well, let's start meeting people. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. Okay, so at every shop in game, you can both buy stuff and sell stuff and the more you sell the more stuff you'll unlock at that shop but you can only sell the designated items at each shop ah, hello there nice to see a new face around here hi i'm hazel wild granddaughter tara oh. Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. I love Natalia. There's just something about her. She's energetic and uh, she has a really, really nice can-do attitude. That said, I kind of love uh, most every character in this game. They are so lovingly animated and voice acted and... And... Um, There you are. Oh, and Tara too. Wonderful. Tara, this is my husband, Parker. Hi there. Hey, Parker. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. I love how the characters' lips move to kind of match what they're saying. While we're here, let's buy some more seeds. We'll get, like, um, one or two. One, two, uh, we'll get two green bean seeds. And, uh, one more potato seed. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. 
You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately. But I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah! She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Huh. All right. Let's see who else we have here. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. So, when I first played this game, I was wondering, Messenger? Huh? But uh, apparently, it's the sort of religion they have here. That's the mayor's house. There on the right. And this is the local graveyard. A bit of a village tour here. We won't be able to meet everyone today, but we'll continue this. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh, so what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job, sociopaths on dating apps. Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, uh, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. I run the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off island. But we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Our own life isn't going uh, so great either. We'll learn more about it as the story progresses. We'll learn more about a lot of things as the story progresses. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Yeah. Our grandmother is uh, really not in the best of health. It's getting towards 6 p.m. Let's see who we've got around at this time. I think we can meet a few more people. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I, I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the people we can meet today.
Now, this forest is a pretty magical place, and we'll learn more about that as the story progresses. There's a lot of stories and a lot of life going on here in Fairhaven, and um, I'm really looking forward to getting into all of that as we progress in the game. For now, let's just gather up what we can from here. Hmm, there's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree, be old as the town itself. And we'll soon need to start heading back to Grandma's house. There's whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. Hmm, we'll learn more about that too, later. Oh, such a pretty girl. And look, we can befriend the cat. Oh, I love cats. And I love the fact that we can befriend the cat in this game. Let's get back to Grandma's house, though. The, uh, pass out time in this game is 1am, so you better be in bed by then. We have a little bit of time here, so let's look around, see what we can gather. We don't have like an axe or anything yet, but we can gather the uh, sticks and stuff that is on the ground. Alright, I think that's enough for today. It is 11pm. Let's get to bed and call it a day. Oh, is it time for bed? I think this is where we'll leave it for today. So now that we've had a little bit of a taste of this game, please let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you like the game? What do you think about the animations and voice acting? Because personally, I love them. We'll pick this back up again tomorrow. We'll meet some more people and do some more exploring and probably also continue the story. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, 
then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.